going on everyone? It is Milro here with episode 7 of Get Rich or Die. The series where I'm racing to make a million dollars and it is uh, the dawn of day 7, just hit 4 o'clock. And uh, before I head out, I'm just uh, heading up this uh, forge, I want to take it with me. And yeah, we got a horde knight to face down. One thing I did forget to do overnight was, uh, well, in the last episode was I wanted to sell some oil, uh, to the traders because I had access of it to make some extra cash, but it's no big de deal. I did make, uh, did some spam crafting overnight for tools and everything. Up to level 201 uh, on those, uh, aka good quality. And I actually managed to fit all my stuff, I believe, in the four and all that. Uh, just gotta scrap all these down. I've been, I've been considering about trying to uh, maybe get a little bit of sand for. Uh, some glass, uh, since I'm right over by the desert and everything. Figured it'd be a good idea to do so. So, what I'm going to do is actually going to grab a. I'm just gonna drop that glass pane because I don't actually need it anymore for making glass, and I'm going to grab some sand. And then I'm going to start heading over to heading back to town. So I will let you know once I'm back on the road. And, uh... Oh! I must have left one of the doors open. Over at, uh, Trigger Bob's over there. But no biggie. And depending on how long it takes me, I'll just, uh, do... Go over and sell a Trigger uh, Bob. Actually, it wasn't in sand, but... The starting balance uh, for today is 3,685 dukes. But with all that being said, I'm going to get over and just do some sand uh, and digging, and I will I'll let you know uh, once I'm back on the uh, back heading to uh, home and you know, after I sell the oil. So I will see you guys uh, in just a little bit. So I'm back on the road uh, again to uh, to town, and I did pick up a set of mini bike wheels out of a car just by searching it, and did sell off the oil, also some cloth fragments, and made I'd say I think about a thousand bucks, so up to forty-five, sixty-three, uh, and so it's like making up for lost money, but you know. And I did gather about, I think, gather a thousand sand, and I did get a little bit of stone from digging up the, uh, the layer of ground underneath it. Which is unfortunately, uh, uh, which is kind of fortunate, it's easy enough to dig up, so... And if I get, um, fortunate, if I'm, uh, if I get fortunate enough to find it, I can, uh, go and, I can strike, uh, strike oil shale, and then, uh, and, and if I'm extremely lucky, then I won't have the, uh, uh, the, the U.S. military coming after me because I struck oil. And I'll know how much, uh, the U.S. loves oil. Yeah, just making a bit of a run over here. Shouldn't be that much. Um, let's see, just how long... I just want to see where it is for, I think home is either, I think it's right about there, so it's about 1.6 kilometers, so as long as I keep running, I'll, I'll be fine, you know, be make, I'll make it back before Horde Night and it starts up easily. Got a nice little house out in the, right here, I think, if I'm... Looking at it correctly, this the house. This looks similar to the house in 
that you can use to in that you used in uh, Challenge Master. But like it's got a very similar layout and it's got the car out front, but that'll just be it'll just have to be another uh, project for a day to explore in this series. But anyways, I'm going to run over to town and I will let you know once I've uh, made it back home. And I've safely made it back to the the house here and in town and kind of nice to be uh I'm back from that little excursion. Uh, I did uh, come back. Uh, I did find a church on the way over to uh, home and everything, and so another interesting little place can explore uh, over there, but. I know um, some people are going to ask if, uh, you know, like, what my plan is for a horde base. Because uh, I haven't done any prepping, as you can see around here. Which, I am... And this is going to be probably some cheesy, but, uh... Considering the situation... What I've got to do is, uh, I'm going to make a very simple um, base of, uh, literally just, um, uh, what I want to do is I'm going to just literally make the, uh, I've got an airdrop coming in. As I was saying, is uh, just a pillar of cobblestone, like a simple like three by three, and a sunk pillar into the ground. And uh, I was hoping it would be very cheesy, but it's uh, I've done it before, and it's a very uh, simple but effective base uh, to do. And uh, I just. I know there's clay right next to my little garage there, but I would not like to uh, kind of go risking uh, integrity over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start digging up some clay. Uh, and I do uh, just now remember that I got a level up, so I'm going to actually invest into sexy, the sexy T-Rex and uh, I'm going to invest that in just so I can keep my stamina going a bit more, but shouldn't really need too much more cobble. A little too much cobble. It's like I'm just gonna make this like a this three by three tower, a uh, like five uh, five tall. All things considered, uh, with um, um, so it's like basically just any about five hundred forty cobblestone. One of those, it's I, I'm not I can actually do uh, you know multiplication in my head pretty simply, so I just need to grab some cow some uh, clay and some stones, and I will be back once I am uh, ready to sort out the very simple horde base. So I've got myself a com comfortable amount of uh, stones and, and clay to make. All the stones, as you can see, I'm crafting some up. And I'm just going to start digging over here because of the... Because I want to get some... Here will be a good enough spot to hopefully not have zombies. To, um, trying to uh, take out the garage. It's like I know sometimes they'll get hung up on on the base and everything and let's see here just I'm gonna start out with a, a little bit of foundation there and just to get an idea of where I'm placing stuff I'm not gonna get the uh... oh hi Nancy a little busy here sweetie oh you got your sister I did get an infection while clicking click. Oh, nope. Oops. 
There we go, one of them's done, and I'll take this painkiller here. Just to try to get me going on my health. Another nurse is gone. Come on, Charlie. I don't need any more trouble from you. Thank you for the duct tape and the leather duster. Andy for uh, making some money. Leather dusters are always good for that. Oh, Curly. Please don't give me any trouble here, buddy. I don't. I'm trying to do something. Oop. Come on. You know you want to have some healthy helping of arrows. Come here, buddy. There you go. Anyways, back to what I was doing. I was just trying to dig out this little bit of the ground here. The dirt's helpful for having a... You know, in case I need to heal up some of the ground. But not to... I don't worry about that. I will need a little bit more wood just because I'm like... I figured going three up from the ground will be uh, enough for for what I'm trying to do here. Uh, but just using was the fastest method to upgrade in cobblestone here is with the wrench. The claw hammer might do 20%. It does 20% per hit of the upgrade, but the it is found that the wrench is actually slightly faster. That's our ground level done. And start laying up. First little level up here, I crafted 27 blocks because I didn't have enough wood at first, so I figured I'd at least have three levels of this done, so. And looking at the cobblestones, I got enough for about 30 more blocks. It's a... Uh... Yeah, I've used this horde base uh, design, well, this pillar design before. And it's pretty effective against zombies. I've used, like, a 2x2, two two, and it's like, that works well, but uh, zombies kind of get under the blocks a little bit, which can be a little a bit of a pain. But it's not too bad getting used to it. It's like, I will flatten out the ground before upgrading well, for the horde, and I might... I was thinking about throwing some blog spikes down, but running a little short on time for that. And it's... It's like, I know uh, some people, it's like, it's a little bit of a pain upgrading cobblestone, but it's one of those I like having base ability. And I'm thinking I'll probably have this, uh, just be a temporary, uh, little platform for upgrades. So, you know, just to hold off the first horror, maybe two, because this cobblestone is pretty sturdy. Or I forget, uh, just so I don't lose track of that airdrop, I'm going to just... Place a little X to you know, right over there. The airdrop marker will just uh, pop up uh, once I get near it. And just need to chop. We'll get some wood going. We'll just chop these bodies up just in case. Yeah, these trees uh, give me about 12 wood a piece, but which is uh, not the most, but good in a little pinch like this. The cobblestone frames are pretty easy to craft. It's like versus one wood frame, it's like five wood, and then you just need a plant fiber to make a cobblestone frame. So I'm just gonna do another nine frames here, and then I'll just make some regular old wood frames just for flattening out the ground here, and I'll get some extra you know, wood from this tree here, maybe even the maple. It's like I gotta kill some time anyways. But it's just a, a little bit of a... It's a little bit of a... Uh, one of those, it's like... Not really worried... Uh, not really worried about the... Day 7 horde. It's not the 
biggest thing in the world. It's like, usually for me, it's just a bunch of uh, regular old zombies just running up and it's, uh, it's just really not that threatening to me. It's like, uh, I don't want Challenge Master in day 14, I was getting some dogs and they were ultimately what got me on that horde night. It's like, dogs are usually the main for me. Yeah, just, you know, it's really easy to flatten up your, 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 your base, you know, like around your base, you know, a lot of the time the ground is a lot like this where it's actually raised up for as opposed to where it's like you it should be uh it gets a little bit annoying but it's not hard fix it can be a little tedious if you have a bigger one though yeah it's just not that bad and i think that's about all the flatting I need to do for the base. I know it's a little uneven, but I'm willing to live with it. There we go, just a little bit more. Then place this up here. And just get the cobblestone frames, and this will be my last little level up here. It's like, uh, this will be just high enough for the zombies to not hit me. Unless I think maybe uh, the crawlers get to me. But it's really not that... It's like a... To me it's kind of a tried and true base. But yeah, not too much longer to the horde now, so... I'm just gonna get these blocks upgraded and then you know, just do my thing until... Fortnite kind of comes around. And I'm staying atop the cobbled together base. Uh, I'm just waiting for Horde to show up. And uh, just not too long now. Got plenty of arrows ready. And there is the Horde Bell. Let's see who, or where they might be coming from. Looks like they're coming from the, the north. Actually, well, they're coming from the, uh, like, north, northwest, uh, part of the area, so, yeah, just, literally what I use, like, uh, would use, like, uh, early on, it's like, if I need a emergency base, it's, like, relatively cheap to build up, and it's, like, kind of broke her leg there, come here, senior boy. Come on, buddy. Um, oh, I got plenty of arrows for it. I think at this level, I can actually... Um... Ah, nope. Steve crawled up on top. That's what I was talking about. Like, uh, sometimes they can get up top, uh crawlers and try to get to me. Come on. Penny, I'd prefer if you didn't crawl. Try not to jump into the horde because, uh, ooh, that would be a very, uh, dumb death. Well, we got an army of leg off, Penny. Come on, you two. There we go. A couple of you are going down. Yeah, it's a very... Like I say, I kind of think it's cheesy because like, of... Uh, it's kind of, you know, using the zombies kind of dumb AI, you know. You know, just because they don't know what to do. It's like... I think if it was on the... newer AI, they would uh, just come over and... And start stacking up. See you later, Mikey. Chris, uh, you bacon. And... There, Mikey wants to talk to me. I don't want where you're selling, Mikey. 
There you go. Um, got a couple bobs. Like I say, very simple base. So it's just literally just get a bunch of cobblestone, have a shovel, and gobble some frames, and then voila, you got a horde base to hold on for like day seven. It may not be the most elegant solution, but it's a. But I'm one of those people who's uh, usually uh, function over form. It's like I'd rather have the workings of a well-oiled machine and that looks a little bit uh, ugly to some people, but just kind of like what helps me what, as long as it gets the job done. Come on, come on, you two. Steve gets to uh, can I take his nap and. Nancy, you get your arrows. There you go. Hey, he's showing up. Yeah, it's, it doesn't seem like many zombies. Although I will check to see. Um, let's just. Take a look around popping pills here, real quick to see if there's a couple of them. Oh, crawler and a burnt zombie. Uh, let's just uh, try to get up to the to the base because uh, I'd like to try to uh, snipe them with the bow from a safe distance rather than and take a uh, get taken down. Okay. Let's get up there. It's because uh, knowing their AI, it's like I'm. If I get one of them freed up, it's like then suddenly I might uh, get the beat down. I've got a couple sweats uh, roaming over. I kind of wish these guys weren't part of the. Uh, I kind of wish they weren't part of the uh, the horde. It's like because they are slow little buggers. But oh well, it they're they're easy fodder. So oh, we got we got a bob. Yep, took a took crawler's uh, arm off. Come on, Bob. One thing I've noticed is like when you take off the libs of zombies, like uh, regular zombies, it's like uh, they uh, they could somehow keep going if you take off all their limbs. It's like <laughs> like they are uh, very persistent, kind of like uh, how I view traditional zombies. Uh, they how I view traditional zombies is. is Kind of like the the old uh, Romero style zombies, uh, where they just they're walking, but uh, they until you take out take out their head, they are they are uh, they will not stop. They will do everything in their power to come after you. Bob's being very resilient. Come here. I think I can hit him with the clubs, so just gotta time it. I know with the two block, like when I go only two off the ground, it's like uh, I could hit him. So come on, Bob. No. There we go. You're finally <laughs> taken out. It sounds. It looks like we got. Um, who is that? Looks like a Bob and an Annie up there. Hanging out on the... The Poppin' Pills roof. Try and see if I can... 
there were a couple, of, like, a couple of them over. Can't tell if I'm hitting them. This is one thing I really don't like with zombies on this version. It's like, uh, they do that stuff, like, a lot. Like, uh, certain services. It's like they, uh... They will uh, just do this jumping up and down crap and... Oh, hit Bob. But it's like, it gets irritating. Oh, out of ammo. I'm out of... I'm out of wood, so... Well... Um... I could try to go down there and fight some zombies. Oh, there's another Bob hanging out over there. It's like, I really don't want to risk, uh... Getting... Uh, being dead, so... What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna wait out the... The Horde Knight, and then... I'll tune in with you uh, once uh, 4 o'clock is uh, rolled around. And the last few minutes of the Horde are coming up, and... We've got a beautiful sunrise amongst the blood red. <laughs> the horde is over with now. So I just gotta clear out the old uh, fodder. I was able to make a base, uh, well, no, not a base, a, a bow. By scrapping down my old one, gave me nine wood, and then uh, I scrapped down a wood frame. Wow. Anyways, uh, I was able to take some pop shots, took out the the burning zombie that was hanging out with Nancy over there. There you go, Bob. And you've got, got Curly. He's uh, doing his thing. Taking his morning stroll after the Horde night. Can't really blame him. Such a beautiful sunrise. Come on, Curly. There you go. Yeah, just gotta clear out these other couple zombies. Uh, Oh, it's just, it was actually Mikey, not Annie. Sorry, Mikey. Your outfit color is a little bit similar to Annie's sometimes. Oh, thank you for the glue. Uh, now just gotta take care of old Bob. Bob? There you are. Come here, buddy. There you go. Yeah, just hood. But looking at the damage for the night, I don't think they did a little bit of damage to this corner block here, a little bit there, and all of that. But you can see how just affected this base really is. But with the horde being done, I'm going to leave that. You know, leave it here and. If you enjoyed this episode, I hope you check out some more of my content, and I hope you subscribe and like the video. Have a great day, everybody.